Welcome to another video on our Embedded Craft channel. This video tutorial is about getting started for Arduino Nano 33 IoT board. We will start with an introduction to Arduino Nano 33 board. We will learn measuring Wi-Fi signal strength and control LED blinking according to the Wi-Fi signal. We will explain libraries and API used in the code. So, relaxed and watch this video till the end. You will be requiring Arduino Nano 33 IoT board. We need a smart mobile phone, for making Wi-Fi hotspot. And micro USB cable to connect board with USB port of computer. If you are also interested in Linux, you can refer these videos. In this video we are showing using GPIO pin in Linux. And in this second video, you will learn debugging of Linux application via Ethernet connection. Links to the both videos are given in the description. Arduino Nano 33 IoT board, has Cortex-M0, based microcontroller. This is AT sam d 21 g 18 controller, from microchip. Second big component, on this board is, Wi-Fi BLE module. This is Nina, W102 Wi-Fi chip, based on ESP32. This LED is connected at, GPIO13. Blink rate of LED will change according to the Wi-Fi signal strength. This board is using Cortex-M0 based, SAMD21 microcontroller. This processor is functional safety certified. As per microchip website, this is certified to ISO 26262, a CLB level. Industrial standard IEC 61508, SIL 2 level. And IEC 60730, safety standard for household appliances. Wi-Fi BT module, is based on ESP32 chip. And if you are interested in, secure boot, this board has a crypto chip. This board has IMU sensor chip. Let us talk about software libraries available, for development. For Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Nina, software library is available from Arduino. Arduino BLE library is available, for Bluetooth module. Arduino LSM 6DS3 library is available, for IMU module. Spark Fun provide Arduino library for cryptographic coprocessor. Wi-Fi Nina is the library which support these boards. With this library we can create web server. Send and receive UDP packets. To use Wi-Fi Nina library, you just need to add Wi-Fi Nina.h file. First, program will try to connect Wi-Fi with available Wi-Fi network. Once connection is established, it will print Wi-Fi MAC address. After every 5 seconds, it will print board IP address, SSID name, and Wi-Fi signal strength. Our code will blink LED. LED blinking rate is directly proportional to the signal strength. Question is, how to measure Wi-Fi signal strength? Wi-Fi signal strength is measured by RSSI value. RSSI means radio signal strength indicator. Basically, it is radio receive signal strength. Wi-Fi.RSSI API will return value of signal strength. This is a negative value. For example, minus 26 and minus 200. Minus 26 represent high signal strength. Minus 200 represent lower signal strength. Lower negative value represent higher signal strength. This value will decide delay for LED blinking rate. Here is the API, which we will use in our code. Wi-Fi.begin, will establish connection with Wi-Fi network. Wi-Fi.mac address, will return MAC address of Wi-Fi chip. This local IP, will return IP address assigned to board. Wi-Fi.ssid, will return SSID name of Wi-Fi network. As you know already, this will return Wi-Fi signal strength. And digital write, will write 1 or 0, to GPIO line. With this we are going to end part 1 of the session. 
Thanks for watching. Visit our website for more articles and tutorials. Visit us at www.embeddedcraft.org. If you like our video, please don't forget to subscribe to the Embedded Craft YouTube channel. We will meet in our next video tutorial. Meanwhile, goodbye and take care.